Sorry about that. Okay. So this is a review. We have first one, cold turkey. Because normally, you know, you'll say stop something cold turkey. Like stop cigarettes cold turkey. Stop alcohol cold turkey. When you stop something cold turkey is when you stop an addiction just right away. Like, you know, you could be smoking a pack of cigarettes. But you stop it right away. You know, you don't smoke any more cigarettes at all. When you stop cold turkey, if you like smoke a pack of cigarettes and then you cut down to half a pack of cigarettes to like two, three cigarettes, that's not stopping cold turkey. Cold turkey is you just stop everything all at once. Right at once. We have hold your horses. When you say hold your horses, you mean, hey, stop or slow down. You know, like calm down, slow down, right? Hold your horses. We have um, running around like a headless chicken. That means doing a lot disorganized or you're doing a lot of things, but you're not effective. Okay, you're disorganized. You're, you're, you're not effective, but you're just doing a lot of things, right? And that's what uh, uh, a, hellish, a hellish chicken does. A, a hellish chicken runs around in circles, disorganizes, you know, because the chicken has no more head. <laughs> um, beef up. When you beef up, that means you're strengthening something. You know, you got to beef up the military. You got to strengthen the military. You know, maybe you got to beef up. You got to get bigger. You got to get stronger, you know. We have go bananas. When you go bananas, it means you're going crazy or wild about something you're excited about, okay? You know, maybe um, when you think about going somewhere or, or seeing someone or, yeah, just doing something that makes you really excited. You know, you can't control your excitement. That means you, you're, you're going bananas, Bean counters, that's like an accountant, um, you know, someone who deals with finances and and, and kind of they don't want to um, release funds to do some kind of project. When you school someone, that means you're teaching them. You're teaching them, okay? Look, let me school you about life. That means let me teach you something about life. He or she is pressed. When you say someone is pressed... That means they really like someone. Oh, man, did you hear that girl? Jamie's really pressed on Michael. You know, that means she really likes Michael. Uh, Oh, like in the equation, I think, yeah, 2A plus 3X. Like, you know, sometimes when you, to to really um, sign a business deal, Dinner is has to be in the equation. That means, you know, to get someone to sign a business deal, you have to take them out to dinner. Okay, that's part of the game. That's part of the equation. Um, business before pleasure, that's like American business style. You know, that's our saying. Don't chase the dragon's tail. What that is, is, you know, when you go gambling, at first you start losing money. Then what happens is you start to gamble, you continue to gamble just to win your money back. And it's kind of like the old saying, like when you have a dragon that comes to your town, uh, it kills all the pigs and the cows, you know, to eat it. And then it kills some people and it takes all your gold, silver, diamonds, whatever. And it's about to take it home to, you know, it's um, home because they, they have a lot of gold a lot of treasure at home that's what dragons have and then the you know the the men in the town they chase the dragon they chase the dragon's tail the tail of the dragon to try to get their gold back but if you continue to chase the dragon what happens the dragon will turn around and kill you right they'll eat you and well that's what happens you you gamble you lose some money now you're gambling just a get your money back but the more you gamble the more money you lose it's kind of way how life works all right i hope this was helpful okay